I'm the Gun Buck. This is the finals. And in today's video, we're going to be going over update 3.4.0. The biggest small update that they've done so far this season. Uh, they've said, you know, the last couple of weeks or updates have been kind of small because they had a big one planned for 3.4.0. It's so big uh, that it delayed the update a couple of days. Uh, you know, it actually came out on Friday and it created a lot of bugs but let's uh we'll get to that here in a minute so without further ado let's go over the update so it's the Izul cup Izul t cup this week in terms of the uh, world tour up three Update 3.4 is coming in hot with multiple features and changes fighting over the spotlight. Azul T is entering the arena as the latest sponsor on the next stop of the world tour. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so let's get into it. We'll, we'll review the store uh, toward the end of the video here. But uh, okay. Also, they've got a big list of changes, including several changes to bank it, shorter wait times, etc., etc. We'll go over that in depth. Um, they're releasing the frog onesie. Also, this is kind of cool, I suppose. Finally, both Polish and Turkish translations of the finals are now live with this update. So make sure you throw some Czechska or Maherba, Maher, Maherba, pardon me for not being able to pronounce that, into team chat at the start of the game. So let's go through the changes, the balance changes. The big one here is with the gadgets. So we'll go through each one. The Breach Charge. They decreased minimum damage applied at the outer edge of explosions to zero. They increased damage radius from 2 meters to 2.5 meters. And they set fall off damage to scale linearly from max damage radius to the outer radius. Let's read the note and then we'll talk about what this means. Previously, our area of effect or AOE weapons and gadgets had several damage shelves where damage would fall off radically at the edge of the inner radius of a blast and at the edge of the outer radius. This could result in AOE damage feeling somewhat inconsistent. These changes now cause damage to fall off linearly from the inner radius damage value down to zero at the outer edge of the radius, which we believe will feel more consistent. The radius of each AOE damage has been increased slightly. As a, as a result of this, as the outer edge of the explosion now does much less damage than it previously did. So if you picture, you know, like a circle or the radius or the area of effect, um, the maximum damage applied by whatever gadget or uh, explosive weapon is uh, in question, at the, at the center of that circle, you will get the most damage. And as you are out, as you move toward the outer edge of the radius of that blast, you will take less and less damage in a linear fashion. Um, not a lot of games do this. I know Battlefield did this. Um, most games, it's like if you're in the blast radius, you take a full effect of the damage. That's how this game has operated since its inception. Not sure why they wanted to change this. No one was complaining about this in any of the forums that I'm a part of with the finals, any finals community. No one ever said anything or had any complaints about this. So I'm not sure what the intent was. Um, but man, this was the big change. This was the biggest change of this patch. And I don't quite know how to feel about it. Uh, I most of the games I've played in the past did not operate like this, so I'm I'm not really sure how this is going to play and how this is going to change how like the RPG feels or the CL and so on and so forth. So all of the uh, gadgets and weapons that have uh, explosions got this basically change. Got this change. So. Everything from the C4 to the frag grenade has increased the damage radius um, by a small degree. And uh, all of them now have the uh, fall off scale linearly uh, effect. So, you know, we will see how that changes the game and how it feels. Um, and it's, it's left to be determined because I wasn't able to play yesterday. And I'll talk about why when I get to the end of these, uh, these notes. So game modes. These changes are the first part of a series of improvements we're planning to make to each of our game modes over the course of Season 3, including our cash out and power shift modes. These changes will cover a range of areas from pacing to scoring. The goal is to smooth out some of the rough edges in each of our modes, hopefully leading to a better overall experience. 
Okay, so the first up is Bank It. They removed team wipes. They decreased respawn time from 17 to 10 seconds. And then they've added the ability for players to change to a different contestant while they're dead, just like in Power Shift. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't play a lot of Bank It, but I think that's that's pretty dope. That's one step closer to <laughs> Team Deathmatch, which I think that's pretty much what that mode aims to be anyway, or at least that's how the community plays it. Mostly it's just like a Deathmatch, so that's closer. I say just give us a Deathmatch. Uh, terminal Attack, Ranked uh, and uh, Casual. They decrease lobby duration time from 15 to 10 seconds. They decrease warm-up duration from 25 to 20 seconds. And they decrease round duration from 150 seconds to 130 seconds. I don't really care. I just don't have fun playing Terminal Attack. It's not why I got into this game. It's not what, like, was so appealing to me in terms of, like, the just how fresh this game felt was the just total chaotic style and the unique... Uh, modes that they had created. I thought Power Shift was really unique, and I liked Power Shift. I think there's a place for it here. I don't know about Terminal Attack. It was an LTM that became permanent, and then it became ranked, which created a lot of controversy within the communities. And I tend to lean toward not really wanting it to be the main focus of this game. I actually tried out Fragpunk. There was a beta uh, testing that I signed up for, and Fragpunk... Their main mode is this search and destroy mode, and the game is built around that. It's Some have said it's like a Valorant, but you can move, and uh, I'm just not a fan. I, I played Frag Punk, and I did not have fun with the search and destroy, a.k.a. a similar mode to Terminal Attack. And that's just because it's just not me. You know, some people like COD, some people like Halo, some people like the um, you know, arena shooters, some people like things like Fortnite or Apex. And that's your bag, right? And I liked the finals for what the finals was, not for what the finals wasn't. So anyways, these enough of that rant, I guess. These are those changes. And so now let's talk about weapons. So the CL40 and the MGL32 got the same applicable linear um, scaling uh, for the radius that they we spoke about earlier. Of course, they increased the damage radius as well to compensate for the linear scaling. And uh, but they listed RPG as a weapon, which is kind of funny in a way. They probably just did that on accident, but it's it's the same deal here. So for that, and again, I'm not I wasn't really able to test how that feels in game. Um, content and bug fixes, bug, bug, bug fixes. Uh, so they fixed a bad transition animation between the winch claw. They fixed a issue where players could remote animation six seconds at times. Blah 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 blah. Uh, okay, yeah, there's that stuff. Characters fixed uh, something with a pet. Fixed a small issue with cosmetic items. Clipping issues. Cool. Gadgets. Thermal bore. Fixed an issue where the thermal bore could become stuck in midair. That was a problem, I suppose. Banquet modes. Fixed an issue where it would sometimes not be possible to respawn. I never, I don't play a lot of banquet, but I never experienced that. But that's a pretty big issue. Glad they fixed that. Practice range, added some trophies. Okay. Terminal attack, fix, fix an issue where the full rank score could gain, sometimes not be given to players due to the losing team abandoning the match. All right. Um, and again, this is, uh, they added the Turkish and Polish languages. That's cool. Maps, they fixed some bugs with uh, Kyoto in terms of the destruction. Hopefully, it's not killing people's systems or PCs like it has been as much. And they fixed various issues where there were gaps in the map. Okay, maybe, I don't know if that's zip lines or jump pad, man cannons, I'm not sure. Matchmaking. Fixed an issue where the matchmaking region could be wrongly set for new players on console. Whoops. Stability. Fixed several issues that could cause client crashes. Fixed one issue where players could sometimes spawn in the game but were unable to attack or use gadgets. I've experienced that one. Fixed uh, one of the issues that would cause players uh, to be unable to fire weapons or use their abilities. Also, I've experienced that. That sucked. HUD. Fixed an issue where markers could fly off uh, to unintended locations. Okay. Ping system. Now increased to 300 meters. I bet this is like a direct response to Kyoto. That map is absolutely, it's just so damn big. And I feel like I have to play medium with jump pad and zip line to have some kind of fun on Kyoto. It's just way too big, in my opinion. It doesn't really fit, I think. But uh, anyways, text chat. 
added some front end menus when in party, added a profanity filter to include more languages. Ah, oh, man, I wish I could have been swearing in other languages um, before they fixed that. Whoopsies. Uh, fixed an issue where chat block players could sometimes be visible, blah, 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 blah. World tour added info panel for the world tour finals events. Bug fixes. Oh, wait, I missed one. Oh, okay, so this one, the spear. Uh, this re Reduce the impulse applied to the secondary attack to prevent some objects being pushed a long way by the attack. I'm kind of bummed that they did this because I thought it was hilarious when somebody would alt-click or, you know, right-click or left trigger with the spear and it would send like a trophy flying or a cash. It would even send the cash box just su flying super far. It was. It, I thought it was funny, but in any case... There was one thing I think I overlooked somehow. Um, animations. Oh, this, yeah, yeah, this was cool. This is honestly probably the coolest part of this entire patch is they added uh, the ability to enable multiple custom weapon animations at once. So what that means is like if you got if you bought like a bunch of the revolver animations and so you've got multiple, you can select all of them to be in the game and it would randomize the animation whether it's inspect um, or like a reload animation uh, depending on what you had for that weapon so that's super dope i love that so now with the revolver because i bought like all the super sick ass revolver ocelot type spinny spins now every time i reload or inspect the weapon it'll randomize that so i think that's that's really dope probably the coolest thing they've done here so for the for them saying this is going to be a really big uh, patch, I feel like it's actually really lackluster. When to me, in my opinion, grain of salt, the coolest thing was <laughs> adding multiple randomized animations. It'd be cool if they did this with weapon skin. So like every time you die and come back, you get a, a, a different weapon skin, weapon skin that you own. That would be dope. Uh, so one of my big problems with the bugs is that they. Not only was this patch delayed by two days, but it's still delayed on Xbox as it stands at 5.42 a.m. Central Central Standard Time. Uh, the Xbox patch has still not rolled out, and I play with my family. I play with my wife and my three kids. We're all on different systems. I'm on PC. The wife and a couple of kids are on Xbox. I got one kid on PS5, and uh, I basically didn't play yesterday because I couldn't play with my wife. My wife and I, that's like a thing that we do together. So like I live streamed, I went through a little bit of the patch on the live stream and we geared up to go check the game out and I couldn't party up with her because she didn't have the update. So I couldn't do private matches with her. I couldn't party up with her at all. And I just kind of said, forget it, man. Uh, I'm not even going to play. So yeah, and, and and it's like I want to play the game, and I still can't because you know I could, but you know part of the fun is playing with friends, playing with family or people, and I I want to play with my damn wife. So, anyways, let's go check the game out. Okay, so one of the things that they said that they added was you were able to now get some info on the locked playlist or game mode within the world tour. So we've got Azul T. This is the new World Tour Cup. Let's go ahead and click into this. Uh, and what they've revealed is now you can alt click on whether it's left trigger or uh, right click on the mouse. You know, you know how to do it. On the finals coming soon. Again, kind of bummed that they didn't open this up. Like, stop making us wait for this. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I, I'm gonna make a video. I should make a video just about how I feel about season three because it's not pos not it's not super positive. But anyways, let's take a look. This is pretty dope, though, I must say. So we've got an overview of what the rewards are going to be. They've now, the Emerald that they've teased, they've released the official rewards for Emerald. A new tier Emerald becomes available when this event is live, and you can earn these special rewards. Seasonal event that unlocks during the season, available for contestants who have reached Gold 1. So let the Gold 1 grind begin if you have not already gotten it. You need to get to hustling. Get that gold one because you have to have gold one to even be a, be eligible to play this. Kind of crazy. Or wait, maybe you could still play it, but you're only eligible for emerald if you are gold one. So it's a competitive experience for the most dedicated cash out contestants. My guess is this going to be just a 3v3 version of cash out or quick cash or some amalgamation of the two. 
but we'll see what kind of ch- hopefully they make some changes because they talked about like they said that they t- removed cash out from ranked because they wanted to make some big changes this season with cash out and we've not seen any changes with cash out yet and you know we're already four weeks into this season so what's up with that embark but anyways here we got a uh, little sticker for the weapons then we've got an emerald uh, m11 if you reach emerald 2 you get uh, of course the m11 and then you get a louis gun emerald and then if you hit one you get that emerald ak that is i gotta admit that is super rad i'm i love it i do love that and i'm probably gonna try to grind for it uh, as you can see i'm only silver i don't play it a lot but that's for another video too is why and let's check out the store ooh, ooh wee. so we did get the frog onesie if you remember the lore behind this this was a big community event where we had to sign some petitions and the more petitions that uh, or actually shall i say the more people that signed up on the petition the more rewards that they were going to release uh for us to be able to purchase but uh, anyways so we did get it. We got everything that we needed to in terms of the signups, and we got the full panel of uh, frog-themed things here. <laughs> so, so you could just buy the booties? Oh, I didn't, you could buy the little footsies. Okay, all right. So you can buy individual pieces of this. They've got some stickers, some tags. They've got, uh, <laughs> they've got the frog emote and the amphibian anthem. And, of course, you know, they've got the onesie itself, which I... I think it's pretty dope, and I'm going to have to. I just have to. I've got to do it. I've got to get it. Let's go. Frog onesie in the house. Because <laughs> I it's, it looks probably the best on the heavy, uh, I'm, I must say. Then they came out something with, uh, they've got a skin, of course, here for the sniper rifle. It's uh, the Candid Moment set. So now when you... Uh, when you blast people with the snipe, you'll get a kill cam shot. Uh, you got the little dangly thing here, some old school f- uh, photography film. And they've got this sticker here, the Eggy Exposure, which is absolutely adorable. I'm not going to get this, though. It's not worth it for me. But I would like you to take note that the whole bundle is 850 The reason why I say take note of that is because the next item on our store list is this watch which is 800 and I, I mean, if you look what you get here, so for 800, um, v, not VR bucks, for 800 multi bucks, you get the watch, um, or you can basically buy this entire skin set, which comes with multiple items. So uh, at least for me, that's definitely, it's, uh, it's definitely not worth it. Um, and that's it. That's it for this patch. That's it, the store and the whole nine. I appreciate you tuning in. If you love the finals as much as I do, and you're still here playing the finals, man, I tip my hat to you. Cheers to the people who are still breathing life into this game. If you liked what you saw here, I guess hit that like and subscribe, 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 subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.